Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tech TLDR. In today's SpaceX news update, we're going to be talking all about the SN10, the Starship successful static fire upcoming possible launch. We're also going to be talking about Blue Origin's recent announcement, as well as a few other memes we're going to throw in throughout the episode. So if you want to know everything, be sure to stick through the whole episode. Be sure to drop a like on this video as well. It helps me out tremendously. Let's get into why you clicked on the video. So the Starship SN10. Yesterday, it successfully underwent the static fire test. We already saw one earlier last week however i'm sorry earlier this week however they had to do an engine swap for one of the raptor engines spacex and elon musk they've yet to say what went wrong with that raptor engine but we know that it had to be swapped and it underwent within one day swapping out that raptor engine really quickly underwent the static fire test and i think this one was really good reason being is that we've yet to see the road closures put in place so last time they had the static fire they had a road closure for the next day, and it's like, why would you have a road closure the next day if you already did a successful static fire? Oh, it's because there was something wrong. Well, this one they actually canceled. They had one in place for today, but they canceled that road closure, and that kind of leaves us hanging as to when the launch is. So if we go on the FAA's website, they had an advisory notice saying that today, actually, February 26th, they gave SpaceX the clearance to do a rocket launch of the Starship. But that isn't going to be the case. So locals in the area, they didn't get any sort of notice to evacuate or anything like that. By the time I'm making this video, it's probably about 8 a.m. in their local area. So reasonably, they would have gotten a notice already saying that they had to leave the premises because of testing. Also, if we go on the Cameron County website, there's no closures indicating that today, Friday, February 26th, there is anything in place. The only thing that was there was the road closure, but that was canceled. The next closure will be this Monday, March 1st. I'm pretty confident that as long as SpaceX, Elon Musk, none of them talk about that something went wrong with this last static fire, they do need to do another Raptor engine swap. I think this Monday, fingers crossed, we will see the actual launch of the SN10. The SN11, that thing's ready to come out of the high bay. Speaking of the SN11, actually, the SN15 coming from Mary on Twitter, SN15 is getting its nose cone put onto the body. So you know they want to make space for this thing to put in its place to get that cooking going forward and a reminder too the sn15 is going to have multiple upgrades and differences from the sn8 to the sn11 we've yet to see what those are going to really look like so i'm excited to see what this thing is going to be like once it's finished the updates and the upgrades it has it's going to be both mechanical and software updates so not everything you're going to see i think the sn15 however is a lot more likely to stick a landing than the sn10 9 the 11 doesn't mean the 10 and 11 can't however based off of uh recent history it's looking a little grim for them i you know another thing we have to talk about mark kelly tweeted this making himself a meme saying that he just handed you the aux cord what are you playing now i can imagine a very similar situation like this in my life you feel like you're in a spaceship you may or may not have just recently smoked a somewhat illegal substance and your buddies are looking at you handing you a cord what song are you gonna play if you guys have been in a similar situation, let me know in the comments and let me know what song you decide to play in that situation, if you can relate, if you know what I mean. More news from SpaceX. They did another static fire recently for their Falcon 9. It's going to be hosting more of the Starlinks that they're putting into orbit. It was a successful static fire. So this Sunday, February 28th, they are planning to launch those in orbit to get you faster internet speeds. Elon Musk has been all over Twitter saying different things about how fast it's going to be. He's talking about 300 megabits per second, all sorts of crazy stuff. We've still got a few more months at least to see what this thing can really do. Then you need a lot more satellites in orbit to get this thing at a more consistent speed internet-wise. I think it's kind of here and there because they just don't have the infrastructure in place yet to give you like a solid number in terms of how fast your download speeds are going to be. But again, a few more months, these things are going to be crazy. And another story, the last story, coming from Blue Origin himself, they're talking about New Glenn's progress towards the maiden flight. So now they've actually pushed the flight back all the way to the very end of 2022. So the reason being for this is because they actually lost the contract with the, what do you call it, the Space Force, right? The Space Force, they were supposed to be working with them from 2022 to 2027. And they lost that contract. They were talking that, that is going to actually cost them around $3 billion in terms of revenue. That's a big hiccup for a company like this, especially when they've really not got no sort of a 
special, you know, they've got no footing in the ground in terms of a space company. Like, they've got a ton of money because of Jeff Bezos is throwing money at it. That's great. But they just, you know, SpaceX has so many contracts, so many trusted uh, companies are working with them now. Blue Origin just doesn't have it. This is another big setback for them. With Jeff Bezos working at their full time, though, we may see other avenues within Blue Origin working much more successfully. But the new Glenn, which is going to be essentially a Falcon 9 competitor, is it's going to be a little ways ago. As much as I don't want this whole all my space updates to be just about SpaceX, I want other companies. There's just like Blue Origins, their number one competitor right now. And even they can't compete. It's like, come on, just please, please do something successfully for once. Just please have something go right. I want, I want back and forth between these two companies. This is just at this point, it's getting sad. Like, come on. Hopefully, they can pull some stuff together. Jeff Bezos, he can keep throwing that Amazon money at it. I can tell you right now, they're not going to be using Blue Origin for package delivery with Amazon because if they do, you're, you, you might as well throw Amazon Prime out the window. It ain't going to do you no good. That's all I have for you guys in today's episode. That's all we're going to talk about today. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like and a comment to help me out. If you want more of this content, subscribe to the channel. It's free. If you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe. Also, be sure to go check out my EV video I made yesterday. I got like, I think 10 views. Did awful. Um, a lot of people were saying in my comments before that they wanted EV news. I made one and it just didn't go well. So if it's something you're interested in, if you want more updates, news, stuff like that, be sure to go check that out. But either way, also have a good one.